Jogging has long been a favorite way to lose weight, to get in shape, and to feel good because once you get out and you're running, and the oxygen is flowing, your heart is beating, you feel... You need your seatbelt on. Uh, to keep your oxygen flowing, put your seatbelt on so you don't Yes, lie. I got it. So once you get running and you you know you, you leave your home and you run around somewhere for miles and you come back after a while you've run every route imaginable and uh, sometimes it's nice to just run to your house from somewhere far away so every now and then I have uh, someone in this case my wife drop me off somewhere seven eight ten miles away from home and 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 just I just have to get back home somehow running or walking or hitchhiking or calling Uber, whatever, but generally running because that's the best way to really oh, I forgot you could call Uber. exercise. So today uh, she's on her way to work and uh, it's in another city, in another county even. And uh, at some point I'll have her drop me off before she gets too far and then I'll run home. Jogging. I say running, but I really mean jogging because jogging is where, where it's at. Running, it just it takes too much effort, it becomes anaerobic. Running's great for training if you're a runner, but for the rest of us who are at a certain age or have a certain weight and it's just hard to run, jogging and walking is perfectly acceptable. As long as you kind of do the distance, you're still going to get the same caloric burn. So we're just going miles down I-15 here to another county and I'm gonna have a bit of a run, jog, walk, scramble, climb fence adventure to make it back home. I won't go through people's yards. I'm not Ferris Bueller for heaven's sakes. I'm just saying that all the roads in this area haven't necessarily been connected. So I... <laughs> So I'm here now. Did you record any of your back talk? Oh, God. So she's dropping me off here in Lehigh at Thanksgiving Point. Oh, and I got to run home. Whew, should be fun. And there goes my ride. Okay. Uh, right. So I'm thinking I got to head up somewhere over those hills over there by those windmills and uh, pick my way through. It's like Survivor. Uh, oh, this is quite the dilemma. I've just run down uh, into the middle of nowhere with uh, an eye towards hitting those windmills and that trail up there, and now I've come across this. I don't know how far that trail goes, maybe. Uh, hmm. All right. Well, let's see where it goes. Hopefully there won't be any fuzz. Oh boy. Yeah. That's a problem. I gotta get over there, across those tracks. Ah! Just made it up a really long, high hill. Now I'm at the point of the mountain between Utah and Salt Lake Counties. I-15 is right over my shoulder. Uh, it's a good adventure. <laughs> oh, they just keep building and building and building. You think people move out west because it's the wide open west with all this untamed land. You know, you could build a ranch or a big estate. Instead the developers smash these homes together with three feet between each other as far as the eye can see. Ah, American greed. Oh man, come on. Give me a break. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Just ran down that road behind me and now you give me no trespassing? Ah, oh, 
Well, I'm about 10 miles in and I'm on a, a closed road just uh, for some reason, so I get it all to myself out here in, uh, I think I'm probably in Bluffdale by now. <sighs> just stopped off at a apartment complex condo park clubhouse and borrowed their water. Had to take a five minute break just to guzzle some H2O. I figure I've got about three and a half miles left. So I should hit my half marathon target, but it will be very slow given all the walking, stopping, tree climbing, going back, cutbacks, trespassing, uh, and just exhaustion. Ugh. Yeah, right. I don't think so.